To tweet or not to tweet? That is the question. Hello and welcome to Crystal Media TV, an indie retailer source to using online tools to drive offline foot traffic and sales. I'm Crystal Vilkaitis and we are going to answer that question. Now, if you should be tweeting or if you should get off the pot the Twitter pot and move on. I get asked all the time, what is Twitter? Should we be using it? We signed up for it. We have no idea what we're doing. And so I hope that in today's video, you're going to find some clarity on whether you should or shouldn't be using Twitter to market your store. Number one, you want to see if conversation is happening around your area. Things like people are talking about your city, there's news, people are tweeting every single day about stuff that's happening where your store is located. If you're brick and mortar, your goal is, and you do not sell online, you need to connect with the locals. So number one, see if there's a conversation happening. One way to do this is to go to search.twitter.com and just put in your town or city name. Or if there's a city that's 20 or 30 miles away, put that location in. Since yours is so tiny, there might not be a lot of conversation happening. You could see what's happening if there is tweets that are said about the bigger city that's not too far away from you. And that way you can see, are people talking about where I'm located? Now, if you sell online, you want to know if there's conversations that are happening about your types of products that you carry and the things that are relevant to your target audience. For my people who sell online, my e-commerce stores, your audience is going to be a lot bigger than my audience for my brick and mortar locations. So if you sell online, chances are I would suggest for you to use Twitter to market your store but you've got to have somebody or you have to have the time to really use it because you're going to be reaching a broad audience. So you need to set up some different tools to monitor different conversations to be able to easily find the people who are talking about your product so then you can respond to them in addition to tweeting out great content and being consistent and relevant to your audience. For my e-commerce stores, you can use search.twitter.com and search for things like baby gifts, birthday gifts, home decor, I need a new sofa, uh, I need a dress for this weekend, accessories, depending on what kind of store you are and products you carry online is the types of things that will really direct what you're going to be searching for in search.twitter.com to see what kind of conversation is happening around the products you sell. Number two, you want to find locals. So first, we see if there's a conversation happening about where we are. And then second, we want to find people in our area to make sure there are people in our area tweeting. If nobody's tweeting in your area and you don't sell online, then forget about it, move on, spend your time and spend your money elsewhere on maybe Facebook, which is the largest social network and market there or do an email marketing program and make sure that you collect those email addresses from people who are in store and I wouldn't spend your time on Twitter. However, if you do find that there are a lot of locals in your area, then yep, you're going to go into the next step that Twitter might be a good tool for you to use. To find people who are in your area that are tweeting, go to twitter.com slash search dash advance. And that way you can just scroll. You don't even have to fill out any of the any of the fields on that page. Just go down to near this place. Put in your town or the city that's big that's close to you within 30 miles and then hit search and any of those tweets that you're going to see are all coming from people that are within 15 miles of the city that you put into that field. So, if you see that there are thousands of tweets, then there are a lot of people in your area that are on Twitter and I would say Twitter is probably a great tool for you to market your store. If there is no results or maybe one or two, I would probably say that Twitter is not a tool for you to market your store on. You can also go to Twello.com which is considered the yellow pages of Twitter and in the search bar just put your city in or your town name, hit search and it's going to show a display of how many people are in your area. So, for example, I put in Fort Collins on Twello and I saw that there were 500 people that, uh, tw that Twello pulled in for those search results. Now, I know that there's more than 500 people in Fort Collins that are tweeting. The reason I didn't see all of them is because in order for them to display in the Twello search result, their Twitter profile needs to list their location. They need to have set it to be Fort Collins. 
So if they have it as Colorado or Northern Colorado or United States, they don't list where they're located, then they're not going to come up in for those search results. But you can find them other ways. The other way that you can find them is, let's say that you are searching, doing the advanced search, and you're finding people who are in your area, and one of the people you come across is the local newspaper. Let's take Colorado again for an example. So the Coloradoan is a Northern Colorado newspaper. They use Twitter to tweet out all their stories and to do real time current events. So I can go to the Coloradoan's followers, which is over 11,000, and I can see where they're located. Because if they're following the Coloradoan Twitter account, chances are that they live in Fort Collins because the Coloradoan is talking about Fort Collins news. Now, I did go on there and I, wa I did see some people from Missouri and Michigan, so not everybody is going to be from Fort Collins, but that's a great source where I can just find a big local account that has a lot of followers and follow their followers because chances are they're local too. So, if you see that, number one, people are talking about your area, there's a conversation going on, and number two, there's people in your area that do tweet, which we call them tweeps, local tweeps, then yes, Twitter is probably a great tool for you to be using. I say probably because your third step is figuring out who. Who is going to manage Twitter for you? Because Twitter does take a little extra time than other social media networks. In order to really leverage Twitter, I suggest businesses to tweet 6 to 15 times a day. Okay, so if you are posting 6 to 15 times a day on Facebook, that would be a lot. And you would probably kind of make some people mad because you would be posting too much. But on Twitter, it's real time. It moves really fast. We're really known for being connected to hundreds, if not thousands of people on Twitter. So in order to be seen in the news feed, you got to make sure that you're tweeting more. You're going to be tweeting quality content just like you would on any other social media network but you got to be doing it more frequently. I have a tool within membership, a couple of them, to help save you time tweeting as well as help save you time finding and following those locals. So be sure to check that out under the Twitter category tab. But if you, you've got to make sure that you have a person who does have some time who can build your network so they're going to build the, and follow locals and then they're going to tweet every single day. So if you have those things, conversation happening, local Twitter people, local tweets, uh, you've got a person who can manage it for you, and I would say anywhere from like 30 minutes to 2 hours a day, really depending on how many people are in your local area, and the tools you're using to help mainstream some of your processes is what you're kind of looking at for the Twitter user. Um, they can also schedule some stuff, so maybe they sit down on a Friday, they schedule for three hours for the whole next week, and then all they've got to do is check in for 10 minutes a day to see who replied to them, they can retweet a few people, and then go on with their day. If you've decided to tweet, then please do follow me. I'm at Madam Twit. If you've decided to get off the Twitter pot, then I applaud you because I hope that that will free some mental, mental mind space for you of trying to really decide if you should be using this tool or not.